Being from Indiana, you know, that's a basketball state. Damon Bailey, uh, Skylar Diggins, just a lot, of, a lot of good people that are from Indiana. A goal I had as a little girl was the all-time scoring leader in high school whenever I saw that it was achievable. And as the first quarter comes to an end, there is a new career scoring leader in the state of Indiana, and it's Princeton's Jackie Young. When Jackie broke the record, it was an amazing feeling. Tears just started rolling, and then she walked up to me and gave me flowers and hugged me, and it was just an amazing feeling. Family is the most important thing to me, and uh, my mom made a lot of sacrifices for me and my siblings whenever we were younger. And she definitely went without uh, to be able to get us to where we are today. McGraw, I welcome the latest members of the women's basketball program today. Jackie Young was a perfect fit for Notre Dame for so many different reasons. She was so athletically gifted, she was so strong, so athletic, she fit our culture perfectly. I just knew that I'd get the best of both worlds. I'd get to play for Coach McGraw and her amazing coaching staff, and I knew that they would develop me for the next level. When she put that uniform on, she just dominated the game. Always the unsung hero, always doing the little things unseen. Young banks it in to tie the game. What she did for us and the way that she contributed with so much talent around her. We wouldn't have won that championship without her. The Notre Dame Fighting Irish, led by Jackie Young, are national champions. It's just definitely one of those things you have on your on your list as a kid that you're uh, checking off. High school championship, national championship, and now become a professional basketball player. With the first pick in the 2019 WNBA Draft, the Las Vegas Aces select Jackie Young from the University of Notre Dame. It was tough. Being a rookie, being the number one pick, there's a lot of pressure on you and trying to, I guess, achieve what everyone else expects you to achieve. And so I think it's just not listening to all of that, but just kind of moving at your own pace. And I think for me, each year is just uh, getting better at something. And finishing again, Jackie Young cannot miss. Young using her size, able to bank it in. Jackie Young having a night. She is one of the best in the WNBA. I think it's just being ready at all times. And so I just stayed in the gym, just made sure I was good mentally, had a good mindset going, and whenever I was called upon to take a bigger role, I was ready. Our Japan 2020 coverage continues this afternoon with another Tri-State superstar headed to the international games. I was actually on vacation and I got a call on a Saturday night, like 10 p.m. And I was like, didn't know who it was. I was like, wait, I, sh I should answer this. As bad as I felt for Lou, I knew that Jackie was a player to come in and make it happen. And there's not very many people that you could just pluck off a beach in Florida during the All-Star break as she's sipping a margarita and be like, hey Jack, fly to Tokyo, don't practice with us, turn around and play in the Olympics. I hadn't played three on three in a long time, and so I'm just thankful that I had teammates that just welcomed me in and just helped me to just catch on to the offensive and defensive scheme. I was like, Jack, I don't care if you don't remember a single play. I don't care, go out there and do what you do. Do what you do, baby. And she was awesome. And it was a great experience like for me and her to have together. History made in Tokyo as Team USA and Jackie Young bring home gold.